All right, here we go again. <clears throat> Here's another tutorial from adubvideo.net, and today we're going to learn a quick little tip that I use a lot, actually, and that's the uh, one-click encoder of MeGUI. Um, MeGUI, MeGUI, whatever the heck you want to call it. I've heard everybody call it. I call it MeGUI, um, and it's, it works fantastic, but um, if you've seen from my, some of my other videos, we've already looked at how to use and install MeGUI um, right off the bat and so today we're going to go a little bit more in depth into a feature that I like to use a lot and something I have set up. Um, I'll create another um, more in-depth video later on but right now this is just to kind of get you started and um, so let's go ahead and um, just go ahead and start up MeGUI if you don't have it up and running um, and then go to tools scroll down to one click encoder hit that it's going to provide you with a window that looks similar to this. Um, I like to show advanced options because, you know, I like to tip and tweak everything I freaking touch. So, um, yeah, I, I, I go ahead and hit advanced options. Um, I'm going to select my source, which is a, uh, uh, DVD that I already have ripped and set up. Um, and it's just automatically selected because I've been doing this, uh, for the past several hours, actually. So it's already, you know, selected down in my, um, folder structure so I'm just gonna go ahead and select a, another episode that I'm gonna be working on which I just happen to know is this but yeah you can look at some of my other videos for more information on this information on this structure here but I'm just gonna go ahead and select the uh, first VOB file in the overall structure let it do its thing it analyzes the um, it analyzes the video um, container and all the information for me, so it'll automatically recognize which audio tracks are, you know, uh, six channel, two channel, uh, English, Japanese, English and Japanese in this case, but there's also uh, all matter of different um, foreign languages, but in this case it's English and Japanese. I'm going to go ahead and select my Japanese um, audio track and select that as my main track. Um, I already have this profile set up for me that I've been using for a while. Again, I'll go into greater depth later on. Um, however, this is just a quick tutorial right there. I'm going to go ahead and tab on over to my advanced config, leave the working directory to um, where it already is as default, which is the same folder as where your source is located. Um, I'm going to go ahead and open up a separate chapter file I happen to have stored away for this. Um, give me one second here. And I'm going to go ahead and change the name um, of the project, which is also the name of the file name, or result, the resulting file name, um, upon the uh, completion of all encodes and muxing and everything. Um, let me go ahead and type that out. Uh, leave everything else a default. I've already created all my profiles before. I'm going to go ahead and remove the pre-rendering job, just because I've found that it honestly doesn't do a whole lot now that um, X264 is so darn fast anyways um, my heavy scripts pretty much run at the same rate no matter if I have a pre-rendering job or not um, with X264 go ahead it goes ahead and, and runs sometimes several seconds faster actually than if I were to have a pre-rendering job anyway I'm gonna go ahead and come down here to my audio track selection and change my audio encoding profile to something more adequate that I, that I like um, pretty much leave everything else a default believe that looks good to me. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and click go. It's going to go ahead and load it up into the queue right here. Actually, nope, right there. That's from a previous... Um, actually, this is great. Uh, this is from a previous encode that I did with a, a one-click profile, uh, with a one-click encoder. And when you first start out and you hit the go button like I just did over here, um, it first loads this IDX or index um, of my video files and um, once I go ahead and hit start it'll run through the index and then as you can see from my previous one it'll run through the index select the audio file encode that then go on and move through my two passes of my video encode and once that is finished mux the audio and the video together in that mux step clean up on the extraneous files and you know um, give me my nice looking output um, I think that's all you need to know I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, hit start and it's uh, provided its own little window for me and that's all you need to know all right thanks for watching have a good day